you remember the first time that you rode a bike, how important that was to you, or the first time you made a sport team? People in our programs often don't have that opportunity, and that's one of the things that we're able to do for them, is to give that opportunity to them. Our mission is to improve the health of people with disabilities, and we do that through sport, recreation, and wellness programs. The sports that we conduct are rowing, skiing, cycling, kayaking, sailing, triathlon, climbing, indoor rowing, and swimming. We're always looking to add programs. You can just see people, it resonate with people when they, they're in that bike for the first time. Maybe they're out of their wheelchair and, and they're moving with some speed and under their own control. And, and that can actually transform somebody. And also, it's not just the individual, it affects the family too. We always have people who ride and, and bring their family and they go out and they ride together. The family last year, the husband had a spinal cord injury. He asked, he said, well, could my family come and watch? And I said, well, no, they can come and participate. They can just, if you have bikes, bring them down and we'll do this together. We sent one of our volunteers out with them, but the whole family, one kid was on a, a bike with training wheels. The other one was, uh, the boy was kind of doing circles around his dad as he was riding. And, and I could just see that uh, his wife was just absolutely thrilled. It's now something that they can do together. So it's, it's huge. We have to grow our capacity. We're a volunteer driven program. There are 250 volunteers providing all these services. We don't have enough capacity in our facility or even in the amount of equipment to, to accommodate all the people in most of our programs. It's just a, a fact that we deal with. It's good to be successful, but to do our mission, we need to be able to expand. And we need uh, the support of the community in order to, to achieve that.